I think I said this in the last has been video I did where I watched episode 6, but I am both sad and excited all at the same time because now this is the second last episode. Obviously, when I watched episode 6, I was like, oh, there's two more, but now it's just like, I'm on the second last. That doesn't feel right, you know? It feels like there should just be an endless supply of this show for me to consume <gasps> always and forever, please. I also don't really think I've, like, watched through a whole show on this channel other than when I did Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. So this is also giving me, like, a sense of achievement. Before we start, I thought I'd let you know that I upload some uncut versions of my reactions over on Patreon. You can also hear me swear fully uncensored over there if that's your thing. There's a link in the description below. There's also a link to my Discord server, which you should join. I would love to see you there. So, like, where are your wings? Nifty, I don't- Oh, right, because she was an angel. She's sensitive about her lack of wings. <laughs> Just like her lack of tits. What? Oh, where what? are your tits? <sighs> Any other this questions? This conversation just went in a direction I wasn't ready for. I just realized that any time I've talked about this thing, I've said she was an angel. Is she still an angel? Like, is, is, is it a past tense thing? How come every time Charlie talks to heaven, we get in deeper and deeper sh It's not her See? fault. Oh, I thought he was accusing her of working through the other side or something. Her best is turning out real well so far. Damn, man, okay, why are you being so harsh? Isn't it about time for another doom to fail What? Plan? Why is it Charlie's fault that heaven are oppressors, man? In our room. Alone. Hmm. Oh. Because she doesn't want to be with Vaggy at the moment? Or is she just dealing with everything that just happened in heaven? You look an absolute mess. Oh yeah, I'm sure he has her best interests at heart. No. Now, is that any way to act after picking a fight with all of heaven and dooming everyone you love? What? They were doomed anyway, bro. I have enough on my mind without hearing Bruce's distic idea of a joke, asshole. Okay, she's standing up to Alistair. You have a captive audience downstairs waiting to hear what kind of inspiring performance you have planned next. Oh, Aren't they all doubting her, though? They came here to be saved and all I- He's kicking his feet. What is this? What is this guy? Just as bad as the coolest- Overlord in hell. No, you're not Maybe just worse. what? At least they don't go around giving false hope. But you're trying to do good things, girl. I never expected to see such a miserable display of self-loathing from you. Oh my god. But... You <laughs> oh, Jesus All god. you do is stand there smiling while you watch us struggle and fail. I never expected Charlie to talk this way to someone. <laughs> Just because you see a smile, don't think you know what's going on underneath. I mean, yeah, that's what I've been saying. He's, he's cold and calculated. It inspires your friends, keeps your enemies guessing, and ensures that no matter what comes your way, you're the one in control. Is he just saying walk down there and smile, like put on a, a brave face or something? I'm the farthest thing from in control. The person I trust most has been lying to me for years. Okay, so it is affecting her. I wasn't sure if it was just a heaven thing, but no, it's definitely Vaggy too. Exorcist army pointed right at my doorstep and there's nothing I can do about any of Oh, is Alistair trying to fire her up? I know something you don't know. Okay, creepo. Huh? Those big scary angels are not quite as indestructible as they seem. Oh yeah, because one's been killed, so he knows that they can be killed. Just that you and your little band of misfits might stand more of a chance than you think. How? He's getting I'll something. Do anything. anything? Yes, he's getting something. Let's make a deal. No! Don't make a d are you stupid? You want my soul? Are you serious, but Heavens no! All I need from you is one itty bitty favor. Do not trust. Do not trust. I won't hurt anyone for you. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that she defaulted to that. Time of my choosing where you harm no one. In return, I tell you what I know. Hmm. I mean, it's good that there's at least the stipulation that she harms no one with whatever favor he requests. But God, I would never in a million years trust this. A favor of his choosing and at the time of his choosing. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to know what he, no! <laughs> Even the, the little pet stuff, no! Ugh. Yeah, that's the sign that you made a good decision. And Vaggy's like, oh, okay, like, she's made a deal with Alistair of all people. Vaggy, stop! What? No. The little horns she had, that was cool. Oh, calm down, she still owns her soul. He gave me info that can save the hotel, but we're going to need help. I feel like it's gonna be real bad, whatever he asks her to do. She killed an exorcist in the last extermination. She okay, so it was about her killing them. I didn't even know that was possible. If you did, 
Would you have told me? Charlie. You can't be surprised by that, girl. Are you serious? Her to teach us. If she can, we might have a chance. With just the seven of us? No, we're... We're gonna need numbers. I mean, if you work out how to kill them, you can raise a legitimate army. Charlie, can we talk about this? We can talk later. Right now, we have a job to do. Yeah, I... You with us? Oh. Ugh. Yeah, I don't really think that she's interested in what you have to say right now, bro. She doesn't trust you. Alistair and Charlie just left like they were running away from their response. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to be like, uh, d d does he own her soul? We have a plan, but it includes defending ourselves against the angels. Are you fucking high? They can uh, be killed. I mean, yeah. no one here trusts like anyone. Car fight. <laughs> he knows. I forgot. I told boss about it months ago. He what? What? They say insane shit. <laughs> I love him so much. We... I... can't guarantee your safety anymore. I still believe in Charlie's dream. Oh my gosh, are they all gonna still stick around even though it's not safe? I'm gonna go learn how we can fight back. But when I come home, we'll all understand if none of you are here. <sighs> well, this is awkward. <laughs> Especially if any of them decide that they actually do want to leave. But also, do they really have anywhere else to go. I feel like they're all kind of outcasts or they have their own complex issues. Hey, wow, look at that. It's Cannibal Town. Let's not go there. Just an idea, you know? And their symbol is an eye. Is that because eyeballs are, are, a, are a delicacy? My eyeballs are delicate, but, but not a delicacy. Please, please don't eat my eyeballs. For any cannibals out there, no eyeball eating here. <laughs> three years! Three years! I'm glad this is actually affecting her. I was worried she'd just like move past it somehow. Dreams, my insecurities, my embarrassing habits, what f***ing deodorant I like! <laughs> All the intricate details of her life. Or what about me? Me says un-understanding. Is Alistair happy that she's expressing all of this because it means that he's become like her confidant? Where are we? Cannibal Town! Oh, of course you have friends in Cannibal Town. Surprisingly nice here. Isn't it though? And it's all thanks to a very special someone. Is it called Cannibal Town because they were cannibals in life and then therefore they're here? It's like a separate part of hell for those people who were cannibals in life. Or are they just people in hell who have decided that that, that cannibalism is the path for them. Well, who hasn't thought about eating their first husband? I would wager most people who have a husband. You bring old, tall, dark, and armless to me, and I'll straighten him right out, okay, Wait, sweetie? What, what, what now, is here's she... my card. What is her business? What is this? Oh. My. Start. Why do I kind of like her? I feel bad. <laughs> I swear, everywhere Alistair goes, people are just like simping for him. And they're like, oh my gosh, Alistair, I've missed you so much. Like, where, where is, where is this charisma and charm? I mean, he is, he is kind of charming, but like, so obviously ostensibly evil that it baffles me that people can't like, just, just plainly see it. So in universe, are these people just somehow so blinded by someone who like talks charmingly that they're like, oh, I can look past all the, 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 the blatantly evil, terrible stuff. Who's this? You brought with you come now alistair she's much wouldn't wouldn't she recognize her i know you're an ace in the hole a what now but where are your manners mister introduce us why don't you oh that just sorry that was such a delayed reaction i've heard people say that alistair is an ace character i'm not sure if it's canon or if it's just like like fan canon but just there she said i know you're an ace in the hole and he said a what now i love that charlie this is Rosie, the most dark. He hasn't even dropped her last name. I just, fair enough. I just assume everyone knows who Charlie is. It's my pleasure to introduce you to Princess oh, Charlie there we go. Morningstar, daughter of Lucifer and heir to the throne of hell. No, she barely even reacts to that. She doesn't care. Well, isn't this a regal surprise? Is she going to give her like some free stuff? <laughs> I I'm knew sure it. I have a leg around here something. A leg? Oh, what am I thinking? Small things. Oh, she, she sells, she sells cannibal food. Oh. No, thank you, though. Oof. Don't like that, but okay. Alistair, you could learn a thing or two. Well, sit down, sit down. I'm guessing those are real skulls, too. And bones! Oh, yeah, and that would mean the rest of it is skin. But we're here on business of another kind. Well, don't keep me in. How is she gonna you help, I'm a very though? Like, what? Woman. Well, as you. She's literally like, oh my god. The extermination is coming early. It'll be here in a month, and they're, they're coming from my hotel, and my. I love her panic talking. I, I, 
We need your help. Well, your cannibals help at least. Oh, that like they're making an army out of the cannibals. Wait, I've seen this song. But I assume there's more to this plan than a bunch of unarmed cannibals. I still don't know what weapons they need. They will be able to eat their fill. Well, in that case. Oh, he's offering the army the chance to eat angels? Sure, why not? Really? What can I say? I like your moxie, girl. <laughs> and old Alistair has never- I love her. She's got such a great vibe. Wait, did she say Alistair has never done her wrong before? I find that hard to- if, Is Alistair not as evil as I think he is? Carmine, we need to speak. I know what you did on- Uh, maybe don't shout that out super loud. Talk about it inside or I can yell- Oh, oh, okay. She's threatening. I get it. Right, you open that door. <laughs> I feel like Vaggy is just like in rage mode. You have two minutes to convince me not to silence you for good. Yeah, I mean, I guess when you're walking right into that. Here on appointment from the princess to enlist your aid in the defense of hell from the angelic extermination. We know an angel fell at your hands and we need to know how. She's like, how did you find this out? The princess of hell means nothing. But she just immediately says no. With your knowledge, we wouldn't have to helplessly stand by while- Clearly I am not what? the helpless one here. 80 seconds. Wouldn't it also serve her benefits? To avoid the very problem you and your little friends are facing right now. Oh. I will not invite destruction. Right, she wants to save her kids, right? All Charlie has ever done is try to make things better, to help her people who newsflash include your people too. And how exactly has that worked out for her? <laughs> we didn't pick the fight, but it's here now, and they aren't going to stop with us. You didn't see the look I mean, of you don't necessarily need Carmine to literally help you. Wouldn't it make more sense to just request information and say, don't worry, we'll handle the fighting, you can stay out of it, but all we need is to know how you did it, as opposed to being like, yeah, let's join forces, come fight and join a literal war with us. With us out of the way, it's only a matter of time before they come for the rest of- That is true. Adam does want to just kill everyone. Or you can stand alone tomorrow, and what do you think your chances will be then? You're out of time. Damn, she... <gasps> I, I don't really understand this. Like, it's clearly a big apocalyptic extermination anyway, so... Angels attack quickly, viciously, and without mercy. You'll need to defend better than that. Cannibals! Does that mean she's in, or...? Is she also just like the de facto leader of the cannibals or something? But I can't exactly command all of Cannibal Town to follow someone else into battle. Okay, so she doesn't have that power. But to get this group into line, you gotta win them over. I mean, that makes sense. She's like, I can't just like click my fingers and make them love you. You have to make them love you. But how do I- With sparkle, razzmatazz, and that oath so appealing, Moxia, you. It's a- uh, <sighs> She's so nice that I keep forgetting she's a cannibal. Shouldn't be a problem. It's not like you've ever failed to inspire before. Okay, bitch. Why is he so bi- <laughs> He's just trying to, like, smack her down a notch. And there's one in particular. Uh, Susan. Who's the Susan. Susan. Who's a bit of a... Uh, Ordinary old bitch. That. <laughs> but win her over, and the rest will be easy as pie. So is she essentially just, like, addressing one person then? Again, they would all know her, right? That would give her some level of standing already. Put your bloody hands together for bloody hand. oh, cause... Charlie. Are they all just all about blood? Rosie back. Susan. Oh, that's Susan? <laughs> <sighs> Sorry. Uh, okay, uh... I know there's a song here. I'm just trying to figure out how it's going to lead into it. Uh, wait, let me, let me start over. Wait, Angels are coming to you. <laughs> She's literally just heckling her. Before Sorry, I eat those we, big uh, ass eyes. She said leave before I eat those big ass eyes of yours. That's why I was saying before I knew that they were gonna come for my eyeballs. The eyeballs are a logo on their like town sign. That just tells you that they want eyeballs. Eyeballs are a delicacy. Please leave my eyeballs alone. Don't eat Charlie's eyeballs. Don't eat my eyeballs. Don't eat anybody's eyeballs because eyeballs ain't food. Although I guess technically you can eat them so they are food but they're not food. Don't eat them. <gasps> <clears throat> I hate her. She just started singing it. You, you old bitch! <laughs> yes! Okay. Love it. We'll be back after a brief in a <laughs> Honestly valid though, so real. 
So are they just fighting? Is she training her? What is going on? Because I feel like if she wanted to kill Vaggie, she just could, right? By showing you the flaws in your own fighting style. Oh, so she knows? Your sisters. Wait, you know I'm an How does she know? How? You have a giant X over your eye <laughs> and wield an angelic spear. It's not rocket science. That's, an, that's what an angelic spear looks like? Oh my god. Did you know angels could be harmed? No. <laughs> so even the angels don't know that angels could be harmed? <laughs> it shows in how you fight. Huh. You leave yourself open with every swing. You fight like someone unafraid of wow. harm. And this is what you'll take advantage of. That's wild. And very smart though. I honestly don't really remember if she's a good per I mean she's like one of the overlords which means she owns a whole bunch of souls she's probably not good but even with that I, I kind of love her angels wield no shields little armor and fight with reckless abandon but how how specifically do you kill them with what some secret weapon that's what I'm saying stupid girl are you really so dense you don't realize their own weapons yeah I was gonna say angelic weapons. How has no one else figured this out? Angelic steel isn't common. And those who have it aren't exactly rushing off to test it against exorcists. So how do they get a whole bunch of the spears then? Like they're just not gonna have weapons, right? Angelic arms dealer without arming yourself first. Oh, her feet are- oh, That's so cool! Not her feet, obviously, her, her shoes. Oh, hell yeah, I'm ready for this song. Driven by your detestation. That fucking kick, oh my god. Animus. You need a different Where did this come from? Or there's no way that you can handle that this. guitar, this is... I love her so much! I did not expect this. Love out for love. Holy fucking shit, this... Ah. You care about Also, isn't it crazy that the people in hell are singing about fighting for love? <laughs> she went from, you have two minutes before I exterminate you for good, to singing and dancing and teaching her in no time flat. Well, Charlie, right? Surely. God, her voice is just incredible. Is Vaggy gonna sing too or no? You're out for blood. <laughs> They're so cool, I love them so much. If you're out for love, out for love. They're getting along so well now suddenly, what the hell? I mean, they do have incredible energy together. Love, love, love. Yeah. Fight love. This is one of the few songs from this show I haven't heard and it is delivering. Whoa, are those her, look at her wings actually out? Oh, so she is an angel now? You might just survive this. We're gonna need more weapons. Oh, so Carmine has angelic weapons or they, can they make it somehow? All right, what has you so out of sorts, darling? The, you clearly got more- The crazy old bitch screaming at me constantly or? What do you do when someone you love lies to you about who they are? Romance? My specialty, come on, dearie. She's so cute, oh my god. My girlfriend is an exorcist angel, and she never told me. Oh, sh- <laughs> Quite a secret. Ro Rose is like, is just climbing the list of my top characters. We share everything. She's not even mad about the angel thing. She's just mad about being lied to. Because she always supported me and my ideas and, and, and now I don't know whether or not that was just more of the lies. I mean, that's fair. That's a horrible thing to think. Do I think that? It's not horrible of you to think. Like, it sucks to think, but it's not. Kind of? Oh, her flip flop. She's, they are capturing this so well. Mm -hmm. Have you ever once doubted that she loves you in return? Well, then what's the problem? I mean, just because she hasn't had reason to doubt it before doesn't mean that it's silly for her to doubt it now. I mean, now, now she has reason. She has reason to doubt it because she was lied to for so long. That's a pretty big reason to doubt it. I don't think it's something that should be swept under the rug at all, to be honest. She took part in the very thing we've been working so hard to end. I don't think that's what's really bothering her, though. That silly hotel of yours all about redemption? That's what, that's what I said at the end of the last episode. Trying to redeem herself, too. She knows better than anyone that I believe in second chances. And that's also what I said. It can be difficult to admit to things you're not proud of. Especially if those things hurt the ones you love. She 
<laughs> sure. She's flawed. But that doesn't mean that, like, Charlie is obligated to forgive her or still be with her. It's that words are cheap, but actions, they speak the truth. Yeah. I mean, actions do speak the truth, and uh, lying to her for three years is also an action, you know, just saying. And for the record, I'm not saying this should be the end of their relationship and that Charlie should just go, okay, that's it, I'm done. I'm just saying it's not unreasonable to have these thoughts. Charlie is very much in the right. It's fine for her to have this. And I think it's more healthy to think about these things and actually explore if that's how you feel as opposed to being like, no, 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 no. I love this person, so it's fine, because that's how resentment grows. What have her actions said? That she believes in me and what we're doing. <laughs> right now, she's off learning how to protect everything we've worked for. I mean, yeah, like, Vaggie clearly is on their side. I don't think that that's an issue. And I can't even pitch my hotel right. Well, how do you normally explain your hotel? By singing. Really? But By singing? works. Oh, yeah, I remember the pilot. That's right. Trust me. So she's gonna come sing it now. So this is where the song I've heard is. I was wondering how they were gonna get into it. So while I hadn't heard the other song with Carmine, I have heard this one. I'll leave a link in the description below to the video where I reacted to it if you wanna see my reaction because there won't really be all that much of it in this video. With the folks along the way And feast on all the angels you can eat Okay. Well, that makes sense why it's a selling point for the cannibals. Although, if they eat angels, is it cannibalism still? Would you not be a little bit worried that the main or only reason they're following you is because they want to eat angels? For the first time in my life, maybe I can be Man, I remember this change. I loved it. Such a strange change. And I think I've always known my destiny could never be <sighs> Insane vocals. God, I, I forget that she's also just like a damn Disney princess. Oh my god, their slide downs. I hope that I'm ready for this. Believe in you, Charlie. I feel like I've never paid attention to what like the, the front gate of that. Like that is a lot of people. Are they all gonna come to stay at the, the hotel? Hold that thought. Uh, I got you a souvenir from Cannibal Town. <laughs> oh, she's crying. Oh, that's so cute. Charlie. The wings are new. They look is she nice. just gonna rock the come on. Let's go home. <laughs> she, was, she was eyeing up them. What have they? Everything is happening. Oh, they're so cute. They fought a fine hotel. I love the wall. We thought we were fighting by ourselves. You're... Oh, she's crying as well. You're still here. What? Do you think we're a bunch of pussy? <laughs> and with his asses. I ain't finding no new drinking buddies. I've named all the stains on the carpet. <laughs> <laughs> she's so cute. Well, Why that looks so evil? Looks like we have a lot of work to do. I feel like they should still talk, but I'm glad that. Well, that's the end. Fair enough. But yeah, I'm happy that they're still together. I just think that it would probably serve them fairly well to still talk things out, you know? Like, there's, there's a bunch of issues to talk about, a bunch of feelings to go over, and I'm sure Charlie would like some clarification on a few things, so at any rate, I feel so pumped now because I just think that this finale is gonna be so cool, it's gonna have so much going on, and the stakes are so high at the moment too. I also love how you essentially have this whole group of people who a lot of them just wouldn't interact or work together under normal circumstances, but they're all being forced to work together now because they have a common goal. Goal. And I love that it's showing that as effective, but also with its own conflicts and problems. I feel like the show is covering a whole bunch of different angles when it comes to this, and I love that. Like I've said, it just makes everything so interesting, so intriguing, and so engaging. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I really appreciate you being here, and I'll see you next time.